Alright, let's keep with the Randy thing. This is still my baby. And this is not a Sandoval. This is made by a guy. I'm just gonna say JJ. Uh, this, I didn't like my Sandoval. Sandoval suck. He does all these special little things. He, like, oh, I'm gonna do a run of this, or that. And everybody's doing this. You know, oh, a run of 60 of the Concords, or this, or that, or these. You know, I'm gonna do a special run of these, but it's gonna have this. It's gonna be exact. It's gonna... You don't want the exact. Randy hated his V. I know that for a fact. This V was made so that if he came back, I would hand it to him and he'd go, This is what I wanted the whole time. And it is. He wasn't sure whether to go with it because it was at that time where that Floyd was had his thing going, but he didn't know if he wanted to go with Floyd. Too much trouble. They break a strain, it's big pain in the butt. And then Kaler had the idea, but he hadn't gotten any funding. I've got one of the first five Kalers on my white star because of my guitar teacher, Craig Turner, or Craig Collins Turner, the guy, the guy that miraculously go, uh, that, you know, he, he auditioned for Ozzy, he was in the top three. And, you know, he should have got it instead of Jake. Definitely. I mean, this guy's amazing. He would have been like Randy, but different. <laughs> but he had a killer, huge sound. And that's how I got, you know, the idea, you know, the stereo. I watched the way he did it. And I did the same thing. I, you know, copied my teacher. Like, I, you know. So there you go. Anyways, yeah, he had a white V, or a white star, too. Uh, Craig. Uh, it was a white star. I don't know who made his and had red pinstriping, I think. I loved it. I wanted to buy it and he sold it without telling me because he said it was a crappy guitar and he didn't want me to have it. But it was the same as mine. Actually, it wasn't. His, I think, was a neck through and it did sound a little different and mine sounds killer. Mine has a Fender, a 78 Fender uh, Stratocaster neck on it, and then the headstock was painted white with my name and, and blood, and bullet holes with blood coming out where I would, you know, be standing. Coolest friggin' job. The coolest paint job ever. By, uh, not by uh, any, it was by a guy that did uh, motorcycle uh, gas tanks. So it was a motorcycle, dude. That's why it's such a great paint job, and it still looks good today. And if you look at the V that Sandoval made Randy, it looks like it's a zillion and a half years old. And it's not because he was touring like a crazy man with it, which he was. The paint is literally cracked. It's cracked already. It's got the that psh, 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 because he used that uh, crappy paint that you shouldn't use. He's an idiot. I don't like Sandoval guitars. I don't like the way they sound, the way they look. I've had them. I don't have them. Now I have this, and this is my Randy. And aren't I Randy? Because in England, that was a hard name for him to have. <laughs> Meant something totally different. So here we go. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
December 1st, 2015, but this is to for Brandy and Dolores together again as mother and son. Whether you want to believe it or not, it's true. No one signed this. I haven't let anybody. This is the only Randy Rose guitar I own that no one has signed yet. I don't know who I'm going to let sign it. Who's left? 
Ozzy's already signed my other uh, V, Rudy. Tommy Aldrich hasn't signed anything, any guitars. Kelly Garnett? No. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know who I'm going to get to sign this. Maybe nobody. Maybe just keep it clean and fresh. I have my name on it here. But that's nothing. This is a guitar dedicated to Randy. And this is killer. It sounds and plays better than any other polka dot V in the world. And it was a chance. It was by accident. So it's almost like believing in the Big Bang Theory that this guitar happened, literally. Because the kid shouldn't have been able to make it. And it shouldn't sound and play as good as it does. When I took it to the guy, it's uh, my friend Ruben goes to him and he said, this is a really nice guitar. And the secret, there's two secrets, I think, to the sound. And that's the pickup, which is a DiMarzo Super Distortion. And then I put a Kaler locking nut after a bone nut. It gives it the warmer sound. And this never goes out of tune, as you can hear. Perfect. It's, you know. It shouldn't be that cool, but it is. I love it. I offered this to the guy to play, but everybody's got a friggin' polka dot V. You know how much I paid for this one? $150 plus $200 to get this put on and that put in. And the one that he's going to loan the guy to play on Thursday at the Whiskey is probably worth a couple grand at least if not several i said dude he can use this it doesn't matter that it's not uh that sandoval which he doesn't own any sandovals either he's got mike shannon made v's like this with this neck i've got a mike shannon that i bought it's the third one from that line they did in 96 97 I've got number three. He's got number five of this line that looks like this. But if you go online, you can see those Jackson. They're this, but with the Jackson headstock. Uh, they don't look correct to me at all. I just bought it because I could, and I, so I did. And I paid $1,700 for it, I remember. Boom. That was talking him way down. And uh, it was number three. So, hey. Then I got Ozzy to sign it. And Dolores. I took it to show uh, Mrs. Rhodes at Musonia. I just walked in. And she looked at it. And I. she goes, oh, would you like me to sign it? And she did. She signed it perfectly. You know, that perfect Dolores Rhodes signature. Right on the uh, control panel thing. And Ozzy is on the friggin' toggle switch paddle or the toggle switch uh this and it's black like this one this is black i don't know why the white one's sitting in the other room should probably switch it out but uh yeah ozzy you know just messed up uh, and it's metal on the jackson and i gave it to him at this uh the black sabbath uh reunion live cd I slid it with the thing, and he looks at it, and he's like, no, not CD, you know, just thinking in head. Throws it, bounces off Jack Osborne's head, and I'm like, dude, dude, can I have that back? I'm like, you can't even sign this. I pay, you know, I, I told him I pay $4,000 for this guitar, for Randy Rose Polka Dot V, and you can't sign it. 
And he's like, oh yeah, you got Randy's v Flying V. I go, no, 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 not the real one. The one they just put out. He's like, I don't know what the bloody fuck you're talking about. And he signs it and gives it back to me. And everybody's laughing. <laughs> you know, Tony Iommi pointing at me, geezer. They're just laughing, you know. Whoop, there's typical Ozzy, just out of his mind. And Sharon right behind him, standing. And she was the one that, you know, said, you know, Jack, pick that up and give it back. It turns out that happened in what 90 whatever that happened when they toured with pantera blah 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 so it was good old days dime was alive sabbath is would together sabbath was together and they were opening for sabbath it was great <clears throat> i saw him twice um but it was just cool and uh where was i going with that Anyways, that's that guitar. That's the number three. It was supposed to be a run of 150. They didn't even make it to 150. They didn't even make it to 100, I hear. So anyways, I got number three. I know the guy that's got one and two. And they're willing to pay a lot of money. Because I see, oh, I've got number one or 98. or I think I've even seen 100 and something. And they're asking three, four thousand, and it's you know been played. Mine, I don't play. I played it, but there's not a scratch on it. I used to say there's not a you know a dot or a not a dot, but a whatever. And everybody goes, it's covered in bots or it's covered in spots. You shut up. That was that first one I made. So all you that watched that first friggin' Randy Rose video. Randy and I that I did for that piece of crap Margolis Peter Margolis crap documentary you know it's it could be a very good documentary it's just he's an a-hole and he doesn't know how to find an editor to make a good move a bad movie into a good one he's got the material he just is such an ass about it and he lied to people claiming that he had the privilege he had all, all rights to the Randy Rhodes estate and everything that it had to do had to do you know bullshit they they did give him way too much information he was able to squeeze that book out of his ass I saw poor Mrs. Rhodes down at the court in Burbank several times fighting that idiot fighting him you know how much money the Rhodes family has made off of their brother's son nothing barely anything a few thousand i mean there's no cost really but what randy did and what they should be getting they should all be millionaires even kelly even you kelly but it just you know they were grief stricken so long and they didn't want to deal with it that they passed up a lot of stuff man and everybody else is making money off it. And there's some loyal fans that feel guilty, like my friend, about selling stuff. Don't! Randy's gone. The mom is gone. Make money if you can. Get the stuff out there. Let the fans have it. Don't hoard. I have that picture of him that no one would ever have saw if my ex-first wife, the good one, would have taken and got for me. That would have been thrown in the trash, gone, forever. No one had ever seen that little picture of Randy when he was 17 and had a mustache. That's mine. I have it. The original. She gave it to me. Margie. <laughs> I was giving her credit. Because a long time I didn't say that it was her because I didn't want people to think, you know, she stole it and I'll take the rap. She's saying, no, I'm, you know, let them know. I did it. Okay. Marjorie Browning. My first wife, she gave me that picture. Full credit. And then the one where he's in his car smiling. And I developed it horribly. But there he is, you know, in his whatever. And uh, I, can't never, I can never remember the name. I can see the car, but I can't remember the name. And uh, I'm, I don't care that people have those pictures. You know, it's the world. It's all the, f the fans are supposed to have it. But there's some... 
stuff that people have invested time and money and that's their living and they should be paid for it and i think the Rhodes family got ripped off and i think a lot of people got ripped off that shouldn't have in the name of being nice because of randy was nice all bets are off now mrs Rhodes is with her son get what you can I'm not selling anything, so don't ask me for nothing. <laughs> but everybody else, have a field day. I don't care. I got everything I want. I've got every guitar he played, probably double. I've got about 30 or 40 Rhodes guitars, you know, whether they're this or, you know, I got several versions of the V that I thought he would have gone. I've got one with a Kaler. I've got one without bow tie and a rr with wings i've got uh the jackson i've got another one that looks like this a plate one that looks like a gibson with polka dots and just all sorts of crazy stuff and the concord and the new concord and the black one and the new and the old and everything else i am not gonna talk i can't talk to this guy right now i gotta go all right so there you go Randy Rhodes.